Hey, today we have my verse, my verse, my verse. Um, you know, it's actually, you know, God's word. But uh, this is like a, a, my life verse. And this one resonates with me in a big way. It, I'm just going to get right to it. It says, seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these other things will be added to you. And, and the point Jesus was making in that section is God gives you everything you need. Like the food you need, check. Place to live, check. Clothes on your back, check. He, he's got you. He knows you need those things. He is your father. He loves you and he cares about you. And so for your life, what should your priority be, right? What should the, the next tool in your priority tool box look like? Well, it's, it's knowing that he's going to give me everything. And so my, the, the, like, like, like focus number one, everything number one will be his kingdom, that he would rule in my life every day, that I would listen to him. That, that I would desire to listen to him because he has wisdom, he has strength, and he has all that I need just when I need it. Think about that. At your worst times, in your darkest places, when you're, when you're just not even sure that anybody cares, God loves you. When you feel, man, I just messed up and I'm so far from God, God's like, well, I died for sins. I, I sent Jesus who paid the price for your sins. Like, you're free. I, I want you to have that freedom. So seek that. Seek to know that. Seek to be guided by that every day. And you know what? God's going to take care of what you need to eat and, and where you need to, 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 to live and, and the clothes that you need, all those essentials of life. He's got them because he created all of them. He created, even created our need for them. Think about that. So man, he's number one. He's at the top of the list of everything. And he actually populates the list with the right things. That's what priorities mean. That's what it looks like. So I pray that we, again, embrace his way of looking at life and living life every day. It's life under the cross. It's life lived in the, in the, in the like, over the, the canopy of the cross, that, that he's there covering us and loving us. I hope that helps. hope that blesses you today. And uh, again, we'll be back tomorrow with another follow-through.